So I've been seeing a lot of talk about Jack over the past few months, um, especially with Anakin doing so well with the character at um, Combo Breaker at CEO both years, you know, last year and this year. And I've been seeing people mention that Jack is higher than mid tier. He's a hidden, hidden top tier. He's, he's deserving of a higher spot in everybody's tier list. All because of what Anakin can do with this character. And um, before before I get to just showing you guys what this character is capable of and what he's not, let me know in the comments. Do you guys agree? Like, do you think Jack deserves to be like A plus or something like that or even S tier just based off of Anakin's dominance with the character and of course, you know, season one and season two, Saint Anakin joey so many other people played with this character and did really well but here in season four after so many nerfs to jack and so many buffs to other characters and new characters that just came out the gate super strong and you guys know what i'm talking about the dlc <laughs> all the dlc characters just come out swinging really strong and you know jack is consistently um moving down tiers and Anakin is still making it work with this character. But anyways, um, let's get to it. So I'm not going to go over every little minute thing that this character can do, but let's just talk about some of his uh, strengths. The character has um, really good range. Um, I have him sidestepping. I don't know what I was doing, but yeah, really good range. Lots of moves that are uh, plus on block. Obviously, the single jab is plus, and uh, he has like the granite stump here, plus on block. He's got a up forward two. He's got the wind up one punch that's plus. Side step two, side step one. Yeah, he, he has a lot of plus frame attacks. I'm probably even missing stuff, but other than that, yeah, he, he has um yeah, good lows. Like some of the best low attacks on the game, honestly. If you ask me, some of the best. If there were like a, a list of like top five characters with lows, like really good lows. Um, he's he's one of them. He has to be like top three at least, right? Or top one even. But yeah, the character has five safe low attacks. Probably even more, but you know you have. Uh, let me let me just put him on guard all just to show you guys the frames here. So we all know about full cross down back one, just negative eight. No one can punish it. He has a longer range uh, full cross down one negative eight then he has the second hit to it <laughs> which no one is ever going to get hit by you see it's 31 frames it's real telegraph but still it's a safe low then he has down four not only down four but full crouch down four as well they're pretty much the same low they're just done a little differently both of which are safe but let's just count down four it's just one move so what's that um Four, that's four now and then of course raise drive raise drive is safe <laughs> and um, yeah he, he has five safe low attacks and they all have their uses as you can see like this here plus six the frames are good on pretty much all of them he's he's plus on that he's plus three on that now down four plus two so everything is plus has decent range the tracking is um is better on on the kick obviously and this attack here but while you're fighting jack it's kind of hard to step these lows especially if the jack player times them right so yeah you you have a lot of lows to choose from with this character and plus you know if you happen to block a one then this low here if he does it immediately you can't low parry it so it's a safe low attempt if you have to block that one at close quarters yeah you can't even low parry he's plus 21 as you can see no way you're gonna get a low parry out it's impossible so yeah he can do that or he can go for a, a, a safe mid to like jackhammer that's like his ultimate mid attack <laughs> yeah jackhammer 441 so much distance has uh better tracking than it should it's been nerfed to where it's actually sidesteppable oh go figure but yeah you you've probably seen plenty of uh footage of anakin at this point 
a lot of his opponents do like successfully sidestep this attack but the reward on hit is um pretty pretty good he gets that uh blue upper which is very hard to do mind you i don't even know how i just got it yeah this is a hard thing to uh consistently pull off so you have that you know 45 damage that's nothing to scoff at and then you have to deal with his Oki, and that's another thing. Like Jack's Oki is um is good because it's usually either <laughs> a low like this or a mid like this. So he's safe either way. Then there's another thing. He has a throw game. He has a complete throw game. He has a one break here. Damage is really solid, 40. He has multiple two breaks. He has uh three different two breaks. He has this here, the backbreaker which guarantees the seed planter, 65 total. He has the volcano throw, like the, the success where he actually gets a, a good combo. I, I failed at the run under, but you guys have seen it. Let me uh, try and actually land a combo, show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, this here. Wild combo damage is really up to par with the rest of the cast. Yeah, if he lands or launch, gets a full carry, and gets that combo ender, he hurts. So don't let people tell you Jack doesn't hurt. He does. And if, if, you, if you've never seen Jack, watch Anakin. Just watch Anakin. Look at the opponent's life bar once they get launched. Again, he, he has extremely good wall pressure. Nowhere to go after getting hit by lows. He's plus six. He has full crouch mix-ups you don't want to duck if you duck he can hit you with while standing three two which is hit confirmable or you can go for the um full cross down for two four one let me try and show you guys the damage here yeah 74 from just a quick wild stick so you don't want to duck but he can just keep doing this all day and the damage adds up so in addition to the wall game you have to worry about him even when he's a little bit far away because like i said lows like this reaching but if you whiff easy 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 mode he can go for four one plus two get the whiff punish and you're back at the wall this is probably not even optimal but you see what i mean you can't whiff against this character in open field much less when your back is against the wall but it gets even better the character has multiple wall splatting grabs so he's got up forward one plus two into the um the extension here which is just down down plus forward two trying to get the uh combo that is not the combo let me try and get the, the actual combo here yeah for 79 that's that's almost half and uh then he has the two break here same combo 92 damage, but he can get even more than that if you get, if you do his new uh 411. It's like a just frame though. Yeah, if you can land that, then it's incredible damage. That is that is over half life if you don't break. Insane, and then of course the uh, the volcano grab. He can um get an easy easy combo with this as well 69 you know if you want to go for that but he just has options but his grabs are a threat when it's like any kind of wall like breakable thing floor breaks all of that he has an answer like multiple grabs because if we're in the forgotten realm then you have um tombstone here breaks the floor then you have this grab here also breaks the floor he has multiple things so his, his throw game is actually scary and plus obviously you've seen this you can't break out of this you have to duck it you have to so yeah he has he's a a certified grappler in addition to having five safe low attacks and like just a few mids that are just very very high utility like jackhammer does almost everything for you you can definitely check people with um, like single jabs, you know, all that range. They can stop people from like trying to crush over your um, your lows. 
so yeah he has a, a pretty impressive toolkit and like i said his range is really good if he hits with this move he gets the uh four forward four really good damage and um he has other tools but let's let's talk about some weaknesses yeah he has to have some weaknesses right and just look at the character and you tell me what his weakness is yeah he's huge that's a that's a definite weakness he has problems like sidestepping moves and getting away from certain moves especially in close quarters so i have a power recorder to just do jab into down four one where normally you will be able to step this to the left a lot easier with other characters but jack he has to be at like max range to even step this move but up close he has to just <laughs> eat this same for like trying to back dash he has a godlike back dash but um Still, the hurt box is just too big. The character has huge hurt boxes. And that's not all. He's also real susceptible to some of the worst combos. Like the worst combos ever. So um I have I have Paul recorded to just show you what is possible on Jack that's not possible on a lot of other characters. Down for one jab <laughs> into death fist. Jack has to worry about this each and every time he gets launched by Paul. And if you guys remember, anytime Nii fights against Anakin, what character does he use? He always uses Paul. But Paul isn't the only one. He's just like one of the worst offenders of um, like big characters and combos at the wall and stuff like that. But there are other characters that get like different things, even in open field, that you know the smaller characters just don't have to worry about. Like King, you know, it's down four, two, one. It gets an easy burning knuckle on him. He can get a guaranteed down four from running power bomb, stuff like that. So Jack has a lot against him as far as like his hurt boxes being so big. So it's hard for him to step, and it's bad when he gets launched because the combos are tremendous. So even with the little stuff, like if he gets one of these low parried by Paul. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to lose a lot of life, especially on a wall stage. So, yeah, Jack, uh, those those are some pretty, pretty big weaknesses. And I don't know if I mentioned it. Like, he, he has a, a good forward two counter hit. Yeah, this move here. Let me uh, just set it. Yeah, 4-4-4 four, four, four is a natural combo, 52 damage. That's like a, a powerful grab. That's just two more points than the, um, the tombstone, if I can do it. My goodness. You have to do it a special way but yeah two more points than that yeah it's pretty pretty damaging the only problem with this is that you know of course it's high and it's unsafe it's actually negative 12 on block but that leads me to my next issue with jack and as he doesn't have any really fast single hit mid counter hit launchers i know i said a lot right there but um <laughs> Yeah, like something like like back four, right? You know, with Jen, Asuka, Lucky, Chloe. A lot of characters have like a single hit knee that counter hit launches. Yeah, Jack doesn't have anything like that that just gives you a um, a crumple stun. Yeah, like a safe, non-string based, fast, you know, you don't have to do a um, crouch first. You know, he's got these, you know, the rush punches and all that stuff. Trying to do them. Yeah, these are good if he's already in crouch. But most people don't decide to, you know, challenge him when getting hit by his full crouch down back one. Not with something enough to get, you know, launched by this. So it's a very rare thing to get launched by that. But yeah, he doesn't have a lot of anti-pressure tools. But his offense, you know, it, like I said, it more than makes up for it. Because he can get so much mileage off his safe blows and that jackhammer and other little mids that he has. So, um... Yeah, the character's strong, but he's he's not a um, not a super top tier character. I think um, one other thing I didn't point out, but I'll briefly go over it. Like his punishment is um, it's good for what it is. Like if you have like a let's say a death fist or something with pushback. Let me um, record Paul doing a death fist trying to block. He has no issue getting a, um, a easy punish. You know, Paul can't do that. 
if he blocks it at, at like a further distance, he can uh, forward one plus two or uh, do four forward one plus two if I can get it. Yeah, he could get that for a launch punish. Same applies for like Hayachi's um, four forward two. Yeah. Jack doesn't have an issue with like range when it comes to his punishment. He has a pretty chunky while standing four and a 14 frame knockdown from uh, while standing. So yeah, 15 frame he has a launcher. So yeah, he's he's got pretty um, decent punishment actually. He blocks a hop kick, one one knocks down, 36 damage. Anything like negative 11, he gets um, two one or he can opt for like four or two. You know that's uh, better frames. And if he needs a, uh, a wall stick, he's got the shoulder at 13 frames. And 14, he has 4 one, one. So yeah, he has um, really, really decent punishment. I would say above average uh, punishment. What do you guys think? Yeah, knockdown at 13, wall splat at 13, and um, yeah, 13 through 15, yeah. Good, good wall splats. And decent while standing punishment. And he doesn't have to worry about range like ever. Like if, if something's punishable against Jack, <laughs> you're getting punished. Another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, Jack's comeback potential. Um, I guess it kind of goes without say he has a pretty good comeback potential, even though he has a very, very uh, lackluster raise drive. Real reactable, you know, 24, 25 frames. Um, but people still get hit by it. That's a grip of damage of 44. Not anything to uh, scoff at if you're trying to like go for a high or if you're just not watching him, you'll get clipped by it easy. But the thing is, he has a rage art that reaches pretty far. And um, if he's able to like get a, a combo, then he's able to uh, like get most of the damage from his juggle. He doesn't have to like cut any combo short. He can always dash and get a rage art if he needs it. So while he may have a bad rage drive, um, you know, he's got, you know, buff damage from all his regular moves. You know, the jackhammer 441, what is that? Um, how much is that? 48 damage altogether now. All of his throws, you know, tombstone and the volcano throw, all that stuff doing extra damage, which in turn, you know, buffs his, his wall combo damage. Yeah, so um, his comeback potential is um, pretty great. We've seen it thousands of times watching Anakin, Saint, you know, season one and two Joey. You know, it's this character can make a comeback. He has five safe low attacks, really devastating mid attacks. So it's just him having a bad rage drive is not um, disqualifying him from having a good comeback potential because he does. You still cannot whiff against him. If you whiff, he launches with down for it too. While he's in rage, no less, you're, you're gonna lose a lot of life. If you get grabbed, you saw that 98 damage from the um, the full crouch ender. You know, he's, he's just got good damage through and through. So he has no problem making a comeback. And you've all seen it, you know, if he, if he low parries in rage, then more than likely you're gonna die. <laughs> if you have like half life or a little bit less on the wall stage, usually you're gonna get taken to the wall and you're gonna die. So um, yeah, the character he has a really like decent combat potential. It it's up to par with I feel a lot of other characters. Not not everyone, not the you know the super DLC S tier characters and all that stuff, but um, he's definitely up there with the damage. He does really good damage. <laughs> so um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So uh, what do you think about this character? I think that um He's good, but I think he's he's not <laughs> he's not like an S tier character. I Just don't I just don't see it because um The hurt boxes are too real. He has like apparent bad matchups You know Paul is one of them um, I just I don't know. I think this is more of Anakin just being the godlike player that he is, winning consistently and always placing 
like right in top one or two or three you know he's usually always top three at every event behind either knee arslan or whoever you know he's he's always up there with jack all jack the entire tournament so that doesn't mean that the character is better than what the character is he it's the stuff he can't do you know he has weaknesses he has a huge hurt box he can't sidestep moves so let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you haven't liked the video what you're waiting on it helps me out in the algorithm and if you haven't subscribed already please do that will definitely help out as well and i really appreciate that and as usual guys if you want some dope king merch like this rolling death cradle t-shirt yo links in the description below I also am a coach on Metify, and if you guys need some help bettering your game or even learning the game, any uh, issues you have with like getting better at Tekken, I can help solve them. Book a session with me, you won't be disappointed. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, just let me know. Just let me know. I enjoy talking about characters and their strengths and weaknesses. So I hope you guys found this video pretty entertaining and really enlightening on what I think about Jack. I think Anakin is just carrying the character to higher and higher heights and um, it's definitely not the character being better than mid-tier. You know, Jack is, he's a solid mid-character I would say. But if you guys want to see a video where I'm talking about this whole mentality of characters carrying players, check out this video right here. I'll see you next time. Peace.